and we'll get a chance to talk about it more at the end of the screening. As Sarah was just saying, uh, the person you're most excited to see, Andrew Weissman, will be here, which is, I you know, serious rock star situation. Um, and Billy, who directed, and Alfred, who produced the film, and me will answer some questions and talk about it. Um, I would just say as a, just something to sort of set the table a little bit for this. On Friday, just two days ago, in Washington, there was a background briefing that was done for national security reporters uh, with the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. And at that briefing, the ODNI said that the US intelligence community has um, concluded that for this election, Russia is doing more than it has ever done before to try to put Donald Trump back in the White House. And that's saying something, given what they have done in the past. Um, and that may be because um, you know, Vladimir Putin wants what's best for us, um, and <laughs> just wants to make America great again, or whatever. Maybe um, the the ODNI told reporters that Russia wants to put Trump back in the White House because doing so would be quote consistent with Moscow's broader foreign policy goals of weakening the United States. So you know, if you're <laughs> A little, I feel like it's a little check yourself moment in American politics. If your country's most determined enemy is cheerleading for and like tripling down on its support for a particular candidate because they think that he is the worst possible thing that could be inflicted upon the United States, well, it, may, it may be worth questioning whether he's right. Um, but uh, you know, Putin claimed last spring that Russia was at war with the West. He actually said the West had declared war on Russia, um, the United States foremost among them. Since then, he has um, done two things about that. He has threatened to use long-range nuclear weapons against us, and he has renewed his efforts to try to put Trump back in the White House. So same goal, two different tactics. Um, but what that has looked like, you know, 2016, we all remember the troll farm, right? Paying young Russians to pretend to be Americans online to, to, to boost Trump, but also to try to make ourselves uh, more divided, make us hate each other and fight each other more than we otherwise already were. Um, in this election, they don't need to pay young Russians. They can do it with AI. And they're also inventing websites that look like American news sites. Um, and they are paying pro-Trump online influencers, millions and millions and millions of dollars to try to boost their signal. So while Trump was president, they were also boosting him and also trying other things to help him and to make sure that he got back into the White House for a second term. And what they did then was called Lev, um, and is in effect the story of this film. And so, when I step back from my, my show on MSNBC five nights a week to do less, um, it was so that I could do more long form projects to tell different kinds of stories different ways. And so this movie from Russia with Lev is the first feature documentary from my production company, Surprise Inside. I'm really excited about it. I hope I'm, um, it'll be the first of many. I'm really, really, really proud of it. Um, and you know, for, for as serious as this is, for as terrible a thing this is that, that Russia did to us and that Russia inflicted on one of its rivals using us to do it against our own ally. For as bad as this is for us as a country, I do actually truly believe that the best way to tell this story is by laughing at it. And so that is what you are about to do. <laughs> um, so I just uh, need to say I'm grateful to MSNBC Films um, and to Universal Television Alternative Studios. I want to thank Lev. Um, I want to thank his wife, who is about to become your best friend. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, Billy Corbin um, and Alfred Spellman are here, and we're going to be doing a panel afterwards with Andrew Weissman. So I'm really looking forward to that. If, if you guys like this one one hundredth uh, of the amount that, that we like making it, you are going to really enjoy yourself. So thank you guys for being here.